everyone welcome back from the channel welcome back to another updated episode 3 video we are back with lots of the fallen update 1.5.17 so the previous mod was not working with slated version so i have updated the mod and i have also uh, made the rtx mod very simple to use like on previous uh, rtx mod you would need to uh, do some various tweaks text tweaks copying pasting everything but in this one uh, you can just test and play uh, with rtx mod and gtx mod also so the other both mods are very simple and easy to use but you do need to follow some steps in order to make them working so do not skip the video and uh, right now as you can see the my fps is hovering around 60 to 70 mm, i'm playing on 1080p with the dlss on quality and every setting is high and yeah the fps is uh, 70 60 uh, in this staircase area so yeah let's begin the modding also do not skip the video i got some important uh, things to tell you if you want to make the mod work So first uh, you will need these three zips according to your game version and PC. Like if you are on Steam, uh, you will need to download this anti-cheat disabler. Uh, so download this anti-cheat disabler if you are on Steam and if you are not, if you are on the other version, uh, you might not need this but if you are still facing the anti-cheat issue error, you can paste this and see if it helps. So you can see two zips here, uh, LOTF DLSS3 and uh, LOTF Uniscalar. Uniscalar for AMD and GTX so first we're gonna try the RTX zip we're gonna extract everything now before pasting the RTX mod uh, you will need to quit the MSI afterburner in order to make the frame generation tickable slash toggleable you can activate it back uh, after you enable the frame generation in game so yeah do quit the MSI afterburner before flashing the zip uh, so we're gonna copy everything from the zip to the game's installation directory which is uh, here so after opening the installation directory we want to go to the lotf2 binaries win64 and where the win64 shipping is located we're gonna paste the rtx zip right here now there are two things to do after pasting the rtx zip you will need to double click on the nvidia signature check registry file and add it to your registry and after that uh, you will need to launch the game through launch.bat every time you want to use the game with the dlss3 mode so yeah uh, what you one thing you can do is select the file right click on it go to send to and from there click on desktop shortcut uh, by this method you can just uh, launch the game from desktop shortcut every time so yeah we're gonna run through this uh, shortcut and see how much more fps we're getting so i'm back in the game and now before starting the mod uh, we want to go to the setting and go to the display and you can see frame generation has come online now we're gonna enable it and set the dlss and quality so you will need to enable the dlss in order to use the frame generation so you activate the dlss and enable the frame generation now hit confirm by pressing f and activate uh, go to the game now uh, after activating the frame generation we can just turn on the msi afterburner uh, so yeah we're gonna do that <coughs> Wait for the MS afterburner to pop up. There. Uh, so yeah, now uh, you can see the FPS is around 90 to 100. Previously it was around I think 60. Uh, but yeah, I'm recording that's why it's a little bit lower. But without recording it would go more higher like uh, 110 to 120. So yeah, this is the RTX zip tested successfully. Now uh, we will need to test the GTX zip also. So yeah, let's begin. Uh, right now I don't want to fight. Let's just test the GTX zip. <coughs> okay, so we do need to remove the previous files and then paste the GTX zip slash Uniscalar. So here is the folder, we're just gonna remove the previous files. Uh, 
okay, we have successfully removed the all uh, RTX files. So we're now gonna extract the only scalar and copy everything from the directory of the only scalar to the same location where we have pasted the RTX zip. Now it's also the same thing. Uh, you will only need to launch the game through launch.bat every time you want to play the game with the mod. So yeah, we're gonna again create the desktop shortcut. And in the ZTX zip, uh, you don't need to close the MSI after burn. It's totally compatible with it. So before starting the game, uh, we will still go to the setting and we will need to verify that frame generation is tickable or not. So yeah, it's tickable. We're just gonna activate the frame generation. You can use DLSS or FSR. Uh, that's totally up to you. So we're gonna just use the DLSS. You can also use the FSR with the frame generation. Uh, uh, maybe I'll start with the FSR just to show you guys. Okay, we are back in the game and as you can see that uh, case boost is working even with the FSR. Okay, there is too much enemies. I need to dodge and fight. Uh, also DLSS is uh, fully working. Uh, I will show you how it. I hope the enemy doesn't kill me. Bro, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I will die here, no problem. But yeah, uh, as you can see that uh, FPS boost is fully working. So yeah, and this will be it guys. Uh, if this video helps you, you can subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you face any kind of issue, you can comment down below. And join the Discord for uh, more uh, stuff and upcoming games news. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, cheers and everyone have a good gaming time.